Talk to me. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Lachelle Trends. And since in today's video, I'm coming to you with a wig review slash install on this unit you see me wearing right here. This unit was sent to me from Diva Tris. I will have them and this unit linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. On my channel, I do hair videos, fashion videos, as well as playing makeup. So go ahead and join the gang and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified of each video I post. So yeah, girl, let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, so again, I received this unit from Diva Tris. This is the wig right here. Y'all, I feel like it has been forever since I've done a wig review. Maybe it's just me, but it's been a few weeks and or maybe longer. Like, I don't know. But anyways, this wig is a sensational wig. Oop. And I'm excited about it. Like, ooh, girl, I need to get my nails done. My nails is literally snagging on everything. But anyways, yes, for the color. What is all this? Okay. Yes, for the color. She is cute. Okay, so we have Sensationals Butter, butter, <laughs> butter Unit 30 in the color Balaj Latte. Um, it says it has wider parting, ear to ear lace. It says 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for the heat temperature that you can use. 100% premium fiber, HD lace. Um, and what else, girl? Uh, five to five, or five to five. Uh, five inch deep pan parting space, pre-plugged with baby hair, natural density, and blends with most skin tones. Sis get into it so as you can see it has like the little short bang i used to wear like the little short bang back in the day so i'm excited to see that because yeah she's cute it has that little streak of blonde there streak of blonde there let's get into the construction of the cap as you can see um you have some baby hairs along the lace and then in the inside, you see the five inch deep parting space in the ear to ear lace. You have at least an inch um, or whatever. And then it has two combs, one on either side, as well as a comb at the bottom, along with adjustable straps. So yes, girl, one more time for the color and this unit, she is gorgeous. And yeah, let's go ahead and put her on. So I'm starting off by tinting my lace using my Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm just taking that powder and placing it all along the hairline and the part space. So putting this unit on, I did struggle a little bit just because the cap was snug as well as I did put it a little further onto my head. So yeah, I did have a little bit of a hard time, but I mean, we made it. So now that the wig is on and secure, I'm going to glue her down using my, uh, girl's about to say my contour palette, my got to be glue free spray and I'm just spraying along the hairline and then blow drying it in. Again, since this unit is a little snug, I'm not going to glue her down all the way just because I need my breathing room. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to glue it down on the ends, just basically in the middle. So it's like a five by five, seven by seven type of glue down. So now that I cut off the lace, you can see my lace is pretty white. So I'm going back in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette and just placing that powder all along the hairline. Then I'm going to go back in one more time and glue her down and then blow dry the glue in.
So now for styling, you already know that this is a five by five parting space. You know, it only comes with a middle part basically. So yeah, I'm just straightening up the middle part. After I get it straightened, I'm gonna go in using my wax stick that I got from my local beauty supply store and just put that along the parting space. After I get it to my liking, I'm then going to go in with my hot comb. My hot comb is on medium setting. Uh, it goes up to 20, so I put it on 10 and I'm just gonna hot comb that part, get it as sleek as I can. Um, and then I'm going to continue those steps in the front and try to style the front and get it, you know, cute or whatever. Y'all, we are looking slayed. I really don't want to add any baby hairs because it looks so good. So I'm just going to add just a teeny, like a little sliver of a baby hair. Like, yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Just something real small, just because I want it to look very natural. But I do want a little bit of a baby hair, so we're not going to be dramatic with it. So yeah, I'm just pulling out some hair on the sides. Very itty bitty. I'm going to cut it. I don't even remember if I curled it with my little curling now. But anyway, then I'm going to uh, swoop them over using my got to be glue free spray and it's just again y'all just something real simple Okay, so the baby hairs came out cute real simple like so now I'm gonna go in with some oil sheen the hair is not rough but it's very thick and coarse um, so it does need some moisture and plus I always add oil sheen to my units just to bring it back to life and give it moisture so yeah that's what you basically see me doing just adding it in rubbing my fingers through the hair detangling, detangling it um, and just giving it some body and you know some shine Okay, sis, so this is the unit, and y'all, I'm excited. This unit looks so good. This is the exact hairstyle that I've been wanting to try out with an all-black human hair unit. And y'all, like, I think I may have to go synthetic and just get this in all-black because this... This is gorgeous. One thing about a synthetic unit, it is like a, a beginner friendly, 10 minutes or less, and they always gonna come with a hairstyle. Like you don't have to do anything but slap this on and the hair is gonna be flowing. Like, girl, get into it. So anyways, let me turn around so you can see the back. Okay, sis, so that was the bag. Let's push her back up to the front. And yes, anyways, let's get into these details. So first and foremost, it is, hmm, I was gonna say slightly big hair friendly, but not really, it's slightly tight on my head and I'm not sure um, and the reason why I'm saying slightly is because I did put my wig cap further down on my head because I'm just trying to eliminate snatching out any edges so therefore I had to push this down on my uh, on my forehead a little further so maybe that's why but it was giving a little snug even putting it on like it didn't have a lot of stretch to it and a lot of um, fabric or whatever or a lot of wig cap you know what I'm trying to say to put onto my big head so yeah it's it's slightly not big hair friendly um but I mean I'm not mad at it this is one of those units where I would definitely a take some Tylenol and then b only wear this to a function and then take it off immediately just because right now it is a little you know it's slightly tight on my head um the texture of this unit is like a blowout texture is very thick very thick hair but it's soft at the same time it's not too soft but it's literally just right like the perfect blowout type of texture um and yeah like i'm not mad at it it's really really thick you can run your fingers through this hair you don't receive well i did receive some snags like a little strand here a little strand there but it's not it's not a lot it's not like oh my goodness this unit sheds a lot it's literally just a few strands yeah just a few strands and that's probably because it is light colored um typically blonde and stuff it sheds just a little bit but again y'all it's really thick hair it's really soft it doesn't seem like it's a shedder but yeah um 
girl i don't know <laughs> like i lost my train of thought anyway so yeah the lace the lace melted okay i'm not really i'm not really seeing the um lace right now so that's good so yeah it melted okay at first i was a little scared because i was having a hard time blending it with my um powder but after i went back in with some more got to be glue and uh, uh i was gonna say froze it girl after i went in back in with some got to be glue um the second go around it's like melted like it melted in my skin so yeah i'm not mad at it it looks good so overall this unit is gorgeous it already comes with the curls like the little float like sis i'm gonna perfect my craft with the human hair wig because this is exactly how i want my human hair wig to lay she's gorgeous y'all and again you can run your finger straight through it oh i did forget to mention that it is well it's not rough but it is just a little bit after you put the oil sheen in is when you can definitely just really flow through um with your hands and or comb like you can really flow through it so i do recommend oil sheen i recommend oil sheen for any hair and especially synthetic units because it does give it moisture it allows uh the unit not to be so stiff and dry and just move uh you know just flow or whatever so yeah that's um, the main reason why it's flowy and i can rub, run my fingers through it and whatnot so definitely add you some oil sheen but sis get this unit she is cute in this color so yeah um i'll have it linked in the description box below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye